So welcome to Thousand Week Reich. What if Germany won World War II, but Japan lost World War II? Very interesting scenario. I've played it once before as China, but now I think I should take a chance at the main country of the mod, Germany, instead of playing as China. China actually has a focus tree, and it's pretty interesting, but for the most part, there's not too much we can do over there. But as Germany, I've heard there are some pretty interesting paths. <laughs> Basically, the key differentiating point between the timelines is Germany won the Battle of Stalingrad. Yeah, that's kind of what changed things around. Even though in real life, if they won the Battle of Stalingrad, they probably still would have lost the war, but it's a good enough point that the domino effect can really take hold and anything can happen, I guess. But yeah, we already have SS infighting, economic stagnation, oversized Kriegsmarine, and overgrown officer corps, so. How big is the Kriegsmarine? It's actually pretty big, wow, yeah, it's nice. It'd be extremely easy to invade the UK, yeah, wow. I guess most of our navy is just made of submarines, but nah, still, that's a good navy. We could easily take out the UK if, if that was our major concern right now. And of course, we have the GDP mechanic too, where even though we won World War II, the US is still stronger than we are, um, yeah, <laughs> for now. But in the future, I'm sure we can ascend past the US. When I played as China, I was able to get up there, so. I'm I'm sure we can we can do it. Hmm, I guess we also have the option to actually kind of reform the party a little bit. It might need to be reformed slightly, you know. Oh, it's also really expensive to get onto higher economy laws. But I guess we will do the third wave of fake news. Oh yes, fake news, a great a great tool for any state apparently. Yeah. How's Mussolini doing though? It doesn't it, this doesn't really look like a Rome whatever he's created here. So I guess there's like a neutral Egypt. So Great Britain kind of lost that, but they still have the Suez. So it's kind of it's kind of historical anyway. And they didn't really take anything from the UK. I guess it was just a full-on white piece. UK didn't even lose Gibraltar. I guess Spain got Morocco, though. Yeah. Oh, and we need to choose a new economic plan. I guess we can go ahead with the people's plan. It sounds a little communist to me, I know, but it should be fine. It looks good. We need that civilian factory construction speed. I don't know if we can prevent some sort of ending of the Thousand Week Reich, you know, but um, we'll do whatever we can. Oh, I just noticed we directly occupy St. Petersburg. Pretty, pretty nice. That's good. Well, we have like a few places we directly occupy. Like this and this. Very interesting. The rest are just puppets. Yeah, and Morocco is revolting from Spain. It looks like Spain has the advantage, but we'll see what happens. Because Morocco's fighting in core territory, so of course they have that. And there's several events of like... Shady dealings, stability issues, demonetization attempts, it's kind of crazy. But also noticed we must have done something to really piss Italy off, because they're and the hostile modifier towards us. I don't really know what happened for sure, but we obviously did something they didn't like. Okay, Greater Syria was just declared. I don't know if that's because they own more than what's typically in Syria or if they plan to. I assume it's because they plan to conquer more, so we'll see what happens there. Turkey is a republic, so they might ally with the Toronto Accord if things go wrong. Oh, Fanta, the official soft drink of Germany. Okay, nice, yeah, sure. And we had the first manned space flight too, so that's, that's great. And Morocco did win, China's invading Vietnam too, we'll see if they are successful like I was when I played as them, or they fail, which I bet will probably happen. And uh, um, Himmler wants to do some like research and have some rule over the Burgundy land, so we're giving him three free military factories there, so yes, there you go, have fun. I also love how the Second Russian Republic and the Russian Republic exist at the same time, <laughs> just kind of separated from each other, it'll be interesting to see if they ever decide to settle that issue issue of who's the legitimate Russian Republic. Oh my, wait, wait a second, Douglas MacArthur inaugurated. Yeah, he's taken the more politician approach instead of general guy, but interesting, I did not see that one coming. I guess though it really does make sense, because in our timeline Eisenhower was made president, but in this timeline Eisenhower failed to take Europe, where Douglas MacArthur, who was leading the war in the Pacific, still won, so it logically does make sense that he would become president instead, possibly. Well, I, I don't know this specifics of it, but yeah. Oh no, well, um, <laughs> yeah, this, this was definitely coming, but, um, this now might be a slight problem. We never got to this focus, which I don't even know if we did it, if it would help that much, but yeah, uh, oh no, no, my beautiful puppet governments, oh, one has broken apart, and that'll be the fate of the rest, too, I'm sure, but, oh, it's, it's sad to watch. 
No, oh, no, okay, Ukraine has fallen apart. Oh. Hey, but we're still doing fine. We're, we're doing great. Our stability is 69%. Very nice. It's not even below 50. Oh, uh, yes, with our negative 879 political power, it's very obvious how things are going right now. Okay, so we can promise an election, or we can have Bormann or Himmler try to, you know, coup the government, which uh, I don't know what's gonna happen here. I feel like this might more directly lead to the civil war if it isn't already destined to happen, which it might be. Himmler's coup. Oh yeah, there's definitely not gonna be a civil war now. Oh, look at that. We're, we're going straight to finding the lost ark now. Oh yes, guys. Uh, we're gonna find all the mystical weapons in this universe, and that's how we're gonna win the war this time, guys. Ah, oh, yeah. And Goring wants a position on the council, and since um we're, we're already leader, and I don't think he's gonna do anything bad, I think if we just don't help him, it increases the chance of him being angry at us, so we'll let him in, we'll let him in. He'll probably do more harm outside our council than inside it, just, just thinking logically. Oh no, I don't like these odds. There's only a 15% chance that we cripple them. There's an 85% chance that there's the old guard's coup. Okay, guys, this is it. We're rolling the dice here, okay? Oh, okay, yeah, at this point, the civil war is inevitable. Okay, here it is. Greater Germany, led by Goring. The emergency Verstadt, led by Manstein. And then we have us, the, the whatever. Ah, oh, 26 divisions here. Okay, well, we'll do our best to win this. This might not be the easiest civil war, but we'll, we'll see. What do we need? Okay, okay, all of our divisions are starting off fully supplied, so we'll just work on getting artillery into them, slowly. Oh, and everybody hates us, so we can't trade for tungsten. Okay, here we go. We have our infantry armies organized, and then we have our armored corps, which will do most of the work. I think an encirclement of the north up here is our easiest and best bet right now. So let's see how well this goes. <laughs> Oh wait, now we can trade though. Yeah. Now we don't have any sieves. This isn't good. Yeah, our tanks are all useless now. Take in Germania. The real showdown's gonna be us versus the Wehrmacht, though, because, um, they're pretty strong. Um, oh wait, I accidentally switched over to playing a Switzerland. Whoops. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Oh no, the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg. Or the Benelux Revolutionary Movement. I don't know what that was about Luxembourg. At least all of Germany's divisions are gone, so maybe I can just take everything and move it over there. And it looks like people are trying to oust Heinrich as the leader. Oh no, okay, well, there goes Himmler, and now we're led just by the council. Hey, all he wanted to do was to get the Lost Ark. You can't blame him for that. You can't blame a man for having goals like that. It would be so, so cool, you know? Oh no, whoa, oh. Wait, do they have all these as cores? Oh no, yeah. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> at least that was really easy to deal with, but that was kind of a surprise there. And I guess it's kind of good because they did take out our kind of friendly puppet state that didn't want to be involved in the war, so now we own that stuff again. Wait, what? Foreigners have intervened? Wait, oh, oh no, oh, oh. And that's a lot of divisions there, uh-huh. Hmm. 
Okay, at least there's a ceasefire in the south, but in the north with Goring, we're just gonna have to wait. Oh no, I need to garrison all my ports now. Oh, oh wait, wait, they, they canceled the ceasefire. Oh. oh, what? Oh no, um, I don't know. I think the German United Front events are a little broken here. Um, hmm. That last time was not going so well. Um, after the Allies declared war on us, I kind of lost some hope there, especially after they nuked me twice, but yeah. Now I've actually done this entire tree. I just went straight down here. I didn't focus on any other focuses at all. We got to here, so now we can appoint a successor. So we'll appoint our good conspiracy theorist, ancient artifact searching friend, and we'll announce it, I guess. Hopefully it goes well. Keep it from the public or announce it to the world. Okay, we better announce it to the world because it looks bad. Usually the thing that looks bad at first will help out later. We shouldn't keep it a secret. Hmm, it says the German Civil War has been avoided. I mean, but there's, you know, the dot 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 dot, I don't know. I'm still somewhat suspicious, but if that's true, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, our economy is terrible though, oh no. This is random, Iraq randomly wants to close in ties with us, huh, interesting. Also, are all these guys not gonna fall apart now? This, this is kind of great, honestly. Wait, the Republic of Finland demands Estonia, wait, why? Oh yeah, and all these places did end up falling apart anyways, but, oh, very nice, a nation of fear. Fear is our strongest weapon, yeah, of, of course, yes. Fear and magical artifacts. Yeah, and this is an amazing um, economy branch. It's it's uh, sure to work, and slave economy, ignoring our problems, becoming an agrarian society, yeah. Oh, I just realized we have decisions to crush the rebels at last. We can do stuff. So I guess we'll crush the Moscow Red Army rebels first before they join the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics or something. With Ukraine too. How strong is Ukraine? 26 division, so they're stronger than the Moscow Red Army. We'll just deal with them afterwards. <laughs> We've pretty much restored our faction, save Norway, which we're planning on invading soon. But yep, everybody's back over here at least. It'll be interesting to see though what happens in the future as we have to fight the Toronto Accord because we've only really dealt with issues internal to our sphere. We haven't even thought about France or Britain. We're not even close to any sort of invasion of these allied powers, but it's getting close to that time and our economy, at least in terms of weapons, is really bad. Now we just finally fixed our economy, so maybe, just maybe, we can start trying to turn this around.